This is Madden 19. I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Cleveland Browns. So with that, let's get up to First Energy Stadium in Cleveland. For the call, we welcome in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And coach, we come at you from the shores of Lake Erie. EA Sports has the coverage of the NFL from First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was... Wolfman, who was your godfather, Wolf? Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are, another episode of the Dennis Ford My Career, right here on Madden 19. If you missed any of the other episodes, they're available Hi, on the channel in the playlist. Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Browns ball club. And losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Chiefs. All right, we're going to get things underway here. As I said, if you missed any of the other episodes, please take a look at them. Beta will get on the channel on the playlist. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he stopped immediately there. The all-pro safety, Eric Berry, in on the stop. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is not a Not just a big, big man, big, a huge man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And then you know what else? I didn't All right. Him at first down. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Some nifty running, but it only gets him to the 45. These are his numbers from last week's contest. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. All right, here we go. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. Uses the spin. And oh, his man. Play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the three. Oh, my gosh. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. For me, that was an example of why offensive linemen might want rearview mirrors at times because you have your assignments to block, but if you can see what's going on in the backfield and maybe the guy carrying the ball is headed in another direction. Come on, Baker, throw front, it. But if they can't see that and he's not in sync with what they're doing up front, well, this is when you end up with plays like this, a bad one for the... Well, there you have it. We're going to punt it away, folks. They got first and ten, second and seven. Patrick Mahomes, third and seven, now incomplete pass, and they will punt it. And we will get the ball back. They give it again to Denny Ford. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways. Oh, man, that was the blitz coming in there. Runs. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. On third down. 
It's Ford. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back. We're going to punt it again. Second and 10 now, first and 15. Incomplete pass, second and four, 15. Third and five. Second and six now. Injury. Third and one, first and 10. Second and eight, incomplete pass by Mahomes. Then we're going to... And now Cleveland take over again. to take the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't Incomplete see the field pass. again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there and gets the good defensive position, able to affect the play. And not much there at all, as he'll get this only up to about the 11. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. And that is incomplete. No homes, just or not Mahomes, but Mayfield just awful. Third and two, now he throws it away and we will get the ball back yet again. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. So far they've had three drives, three punts, not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, Three punts isn't a bad thing, but when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up the first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Mayfield to throw it. Over the middle complete. That's Ford. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Timeout called. I believe that was an injury timeout, if I'm mistaken. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And on the ground they go with a running back. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he Second was playing in the backfield. Negative two yards for Denny. He's not doing good at all this game. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Chris Jones on the stop. Well, that was better than the first go around when he lost yardage, but still nothing there, and that sets up a third and long tough spot here. Put it mildly, sometimes I wonder if some of that old school football should come back into play. You know what I would think here? Quick kick, try and change field position, help out your team. And he'll find a man, that's Landry. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. Two minute Two warning. Two minutes remain here in the first half. More from Cleveland after this. So Kansas City did add a field goal, so it's three nothing. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now, hard to believe, the halfway point of the season. Time flying. It certainly is. Time to get the sweaters out, my man. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Throwing. Mayfield. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. A great play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Browns are able to cash in for six. So there it is. Denny solid finally gets in. Front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yep. 
And there you have it. The Browns take the lead 7-3. The Buck 13 left to play. The Browns with the football. Buck 13 left and a half. A first down throw for Mayfield. An open receiver, that's David and Joku. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Personal foul, face mask, defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face I mean, first down. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Hurry up, here we go! On first and 10, Mayfield. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Well, why don't we hold on? And there you go. We'll stop, and we won't do anything with the coach. Kickoff. 28-yard kickoff return. First and ten now. Eight yard reception, second and two, a negative two yard uh, loss. Eight yards, first and ten, second and nine. Third and one. First and ten. Pass knocked away. First and ten. I think they're going to get a touchdown here, y'all. First and goal. Patrick Mahomes will not be denied there. So a touchdown for the Chiefs makes it ten to seven. And they'll go on the ground. And he's got some space here. Look at him go, folks. He's Denny Ford. And he might be gone. Touchdown, and Denny Ford. Touchdown, Cleveland. A big play there with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Browns are able to cash in for six. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness to it? Just getting there and taking off and going. Denny Ford, guys. folks. Plays like that really hurt. Does it? What a touchdown. PAT is good. It's now 14-10 Browns. First and ten, pass knocked away. It's first and ten again, second and three, a one yard lost, or one yard rush, excuse me. Two yards rushed. Pass knocked away by Maho or uh, by Peppers. Five yard reception, a complete pass. Second and ten now, pass knocked away. Third and ten, four yard rush. And fourth and six, they add a touchdown. The extra point is good, and they're up by three. Throw left side, caught by the tight end in Joku. 
And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first All right. and 10. Let's find out exactly what happens for Denny on this ordeal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. See if we can't run another play here. Now it looks like we got all pass plays here. Second, okay, it's second and long, that's why. All right. Second down, Mayfield. And this intercepted. Is intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And he's going to take this one back to the... All right, so there's a first and ten now, second and ten. Pass dropped. Third and five. Incomplete pass, and they will... They will uh, put the football, so... Got lucky on that uh, play. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And this hasn't been the typical game, no doubt, for Emmanuel Sanders. They've really limited him. He's one of those players that provides a real spark when he gets going. And when he does it, it's felt by the rest of the team. And they're feeling it in this one. Did he get the first down? I don't know if he did. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Third and inches. Officially, it's no gain on the play. And they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. On third down, it's fourth, and he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. And they'll run it here, and he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with offense. a flag down. Let's check on the call. Illegal block in the back, offense. Okay. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Here we go. They go play action here on first down. To the right side and complete to Njoku. And down he'll go at the 25. The completion good for three and it's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays. Baker Mayfield Even runs that one. On the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. All right, they're going to... We're going to punt it. And now we got the ball back. I'm not quite sure exactly why. Maybe an interception. Okay. Here we go now. Back to throw. And incomplete, incomplete in Joku. Nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback. Oh, okay, or drink okay, ball okay, the okay. Away. Yes. They just took Denny exactly out. All right, I got it. I got it. Not I'm not quite sure that. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. And oh, it's oh, picked off again. It's intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. That's and it, folks. Set up shop at the 40 -yard this is not good. This is a bad one. First and ten, a two-yard rush. They're just looking to wear the clock down. Second down. They got a four yards, three, four, and looks like. And now Cleveland geared up to oh take no. the field. They're this is only not good. in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So 
Tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. He'll look to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Njoku. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Well, when oh, you're second. leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. Stops short of the 25. The nice move couldn't ultimately free him. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Back to throw. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. The Browns on third, third down, down and two. They've converted three times and eight chances. Here it's third and two. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And a great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps them pick up the first. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Justin Houston in there to take him down. And the clock will roll. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. They'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Certainly would have liked to get some yardage out of that play. We're going to kick a field goal to try to tie it, folks. We do. It's tied up. We go into overtime. We're going into overtime. Yes, we are. There's the kickoff. Touchback for Philip Dorsey or Dorsett. Or is that Dorsey or Dorsett? Not quite sure. First and 10. Second and six now. Incomplete pass. Patrick Mahomes. Third and six. 20 yards gained on that. First and 10. Second and five now, pass knocked away. Third and five, incomplete pass. There's the field goal. Here comes the Browns offense back onto the field. The field goal would push it to sudden death. We just saw the field goal on the other end, but I don't think they are thinking field goal. At least not to start this drive, they're not thinking field goal. Not at all, because your point is well Incomplete and batted away. Push it to sudden death, but you're also kicking off and giving the other team the ball with a chance to kick a field goal and beat you. Get the touchdown finish the game off that has to be the mindset line of scrimmage again the 25 second and 10 throwing again Mayfield on second and 10 and the hit jarred it loose it's incomplete the two straight incompletions and now you got a situation you're down three so obviously you have two more downs to pick up the first Back to the air on third, I assume. I would assume, but you also have to think to yourself, they got to pick up a first, right? They know they're down three. They have to match, otherwise this game is over. Maybe they approach it as two downs to pick up the first down. If you decide to run a draw or some type of a screen, something to try and pick Back up the pass. Yard, he it caught it, down, but he's short. And he showcased the spin, but couldn't do much else as he's wrangled down. He's short. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. So much about this We're going game. to have to situations and then having We're going to, execute, to have to do this it? guard the first down sticks don't let them get there and they rallied and made the tackle and this is caught he hits Landry and he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled that the definition of a do or die play but they keep this overtime session going with a first down Mayfield on first down Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ford. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Mayfield now. Got his man complete over the middle. It's four. And he'll go down, but not before getting this oh, no. inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another oh, no. nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Did I like see that right? Good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy Did I the see fly. them say that Denny so Ford got we hear Okay. And offensive thought they said Denny Ford got the progression. You either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. Back to back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. From the red zone now, Mayfield over the middle complete. It's Brown. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That throw good for four. It's second down. So a little chunk there on first as they I try thought to they said the Denny Ford came out overtime. injury, like but maybe I was wrong. Maybe I saw that wrong. Down three. You don't have to get it out in one big play, although obviously that would be nice. But there's no need to have that type of risk associated with it. Run your offense, get first downs, get yourself in a position where you know you're going to at least get three and keep this game going. If you get six, so much the better. His pass caught with the four. His first catch, and it's a big one in overtime. It's a first down. They wanted to avoid the dreaded fourth down and having to get a conversion or as being the final play. They picked it up, though, on third. I love how you describe that because we've been in those situations and seen it. If you get to fourth down, especially in overtime. Things get a little shakier, don't they? The hands get shaky, right? The throw, if you're going to throw them. And they're going to get to Mayfield him. goes down. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Well, that was point-counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure. And the... Oh, it's, oh, it's picked off. That'll seal it. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. Oh, man. Heartbreaking loss. That was a heartbreaker. Denny you had that, but he took it right from me. Look at you. Trying to make this whole thing So the Browns dropped up two and five. Let's get the uh, closely results here from Brandon Gottman and Charles Davis. We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for the Chiefs. They fall a game under 500 now at three up and four down. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, they dip to two and five now with the loss. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against Jacksonville. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So there you have it, folks. Denny did not get that pass. I thought for sure he had it there. And unfortunately, that was taken right from him. So a heartbreaking overtime loss for the Browns. We will upgrade here a little bit. We will see you in the next episode where we will take on... In the next episode, we will be taking on... The, uh, your goals. Okay. On the next episode, we will be taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new, scratch your call marks in the bottom right corner of your screen. Come over to Wolfpack Fam today. Sniff and bite into the bell icon. Become part of the notification squad. Do not forget to put a like to the video. It's much appreciated. We will see you in the next episode. Wolfman Lewis, your godfather wolf. I am out.